let's take a look at uh, this knife I got right here. It's a CRT or CRKT, which is Columbia River Knife and Tool Company. This is a small survival knife meant to be put into, and it comes with this tin, but the alkaloid, uh, typical alkaloid survival tin. So a lot of times you'll see those with the, like a little fold out uh, single edge razor blade type knife. Well, I'm not a fan of those. I just think for survival, that's not really, I mean, it'd be good to get a splinter out in my world. So this guy right here, Doug Ritter, he designed this knife. He's also designed some survival kits and is pretty big in the survival industry. So here's the knife right here. Comes with a sheath, plastic, and you can see and it fits perfectly into this tin and takes up very little space. I mean, it, if you actually wanted, if you're that hurting for space in your tin, you could easily take that off, seeing as this is an emergency situation, but it's nice to have that sheath. And I mean, it even gets smaller. So here we have an actual steel knife no single-sided razor blade stone wash finish a nice lanyard like I said well fitted sheath good retention has a hole here that you could do a land or a, like for a neck hang on this so you could use it as a neck knife small enough adjustable lanyard so that you can tighten this up or whatever you want to do with it and Let's see here, out of the box. And I found this to be typical because over there is another CRKT knife that I have that I want to do a review on that I've been carrying a few of them for years now. But these knives come out of the box pretty razor sharp. that well because I have a camera in front of me and I'm trying to make sure you can see but I mean can't ask for much more than that and uh, one thing I mean I play around with sharpening knives one nice thing about a piece of paper is what you can tell is if you slide it down the blade as you cut you can feel any burrs or indentations in the blade and these things are just razor sharp I haven't figured out what these two little holes were for, and I haven't seen it. I'm sure if I dig deeper, but I just haven't had a need for it. But so this is a 2C13 steel blade, and it's oh one. The blade length is an inch and a qu three quarters, and you can see it's the palm of my hand right there. And I don't have giant hands, but I do, I mean, this is just solid. If you had to uh, cut up some tinder, or if you had something small or whatever, and you actually want to take a baton to this and use it, it isn't going to break. You could never do that with a single edge razor blade, and you could never actually do anything major with a single edge razor blade that you could do with this knife. I mean, if you had to, you could strap this to a, you know, a, a branch or a stick or whatever. Maybe that's what these holes could be used for, tying it around like that and as a defensive weapon or as a spear maybe to do some kind of hunting. But I mean, it's this isn't your daily carry blade, but this blade would get you out of a tough situation, I do believe. And I actually have, I just bought these two. So this has been discontinued. I think now they're making a slightly bigger one. But this knife is still available in, I believe it's a soul kit. At the end of the video, uh, I'll put the picture of it. That's uh, Survive a Little Longer Survival Kit. And they've included one of these blades in it. Because uh, Dave here, or I'm sorry, not Dave, Doug Ritter, he actually designed that kit too. So if I said Dave earlier, my bad, it's Doug. I just don't want to redo the whole video for his name. And just to give you an idea, here's a second one that I bought. 
And I already have two that are packed away in survival kits that I have packed up. And I had two other survival kits that I wanted to do, but this gives you an idea how it comes. That's never been out of the box. And these are great little tins. I mean, you get the tin too, so. And if you check on Amazon, I've seen a bunches of them still out there for sale. You can, I think, under $30. All right, that's about it for this video. Let's get in here real close. See if it'll focus on Doug's name. I can never make this camera focus when I want it to. One day I'm going to get a new camera. Hopefully you can hear that I do have a new mic and I think the sound should be a lot better. But anyhow, it's a nice piece of equipment. I mean, if you had any, any kind of survival kit or a small pack, a carry bag or whatever you wanted just to put a little backup knife in. Bam, this is the deal right here. Or, I mean, for my wife has a small Essie. It's a little bigger than this. But if you're just around your campsite and you put a little lanyard around here hanging around your neck, I mean, for opening freeze dry bags, doing just a little cooking general type situation, I think this is more than enough knife. Unless you're doing giant steaks. And since I don't do that kind of camping, it doesn't come in a bag and you can make it with water i'm not taking it with me because i'm not out cooking i'm out enjoying camping all right if you have any questions you know leave them in the comment uh, if you got this far thanks for watching the video if you didn't you didn't see this part anyhow so it doesn't even matter if uh, you haven't subscribed please subscribe trying to get more subscribers trying to do more videos just been crazy busy at work all right Thanks again. Have a great day. And I'll do a review on that knife there. That's a little belt knife I carry. All right. Thanks.